आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव Azadi ka safar with AIR News Birth of a Nation India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day On the 18th of March 1919 the British government passed the Rowlatt Act which gave powers to the police to arrest any person without any reason the formal name of this legislation was anakin and revolutionary crimes act of 1919 the act gave immense power to the colonial administration anyone suspected of nationalistic activities could be arrested for 2 years without a trial the freedom fighters called the act the black act and it triggered outrage across the nation Gandhi ji called for satyagraha against the Rowlatt Act on the 6th of April 1919. The British administration came down heavily upon the people and on the 13th of April 1919 Jallianwala Bagh massacre took place in Amritsar. <laughs> the violence and bloodshed sparked by the Rowlatt Act drew Mahatma Gandhi into the vortex of the freedom movement and he launched the non-cooperation movement in 1920 opening a new chapter in India's fight for freedom you also remember Indian National Army's Colonel Gurbaksh Singh Dhillon who was born on the 18th of March 1914 near Amritsar Punjab Dhillon along with other soldiers of the Indian National Army General Shah Nawaz Khan and Colonel Prem Kumar Sehgal was charged with treason and waging war against the British Empire Dhillon joined the INA after the fall of Singapore to the Japanese in February 1942 When Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose took command of Azad Hind Fauj in 1944 Dillon was made the commander of the Nehru Brigade he was assigned the task of holding the Irawadi River in Burma on 12th of February 1945 the INA defenses along Irawadi were bombed by the allied aircraft under severe bombardment and assault the INA nevertheless managed to hold Irawadi The other assault by the British opposite Nongju using motor boats was also repelled by the INA. However, INA could not hold for long in the face of sustained assault and Dhillon had to eventually withdraw to Pagham. Dhillon again was given the task of checking the allied forces advance to Chok Padang. Dillon and his soldiers offered the strongest resistance against the British attacks. However, in April 1945, under furious assault from the British tanks and armored vehicles, INA had to withdraw to Magwe. As the INA trials of Dillon, Shah Nawaz and Prem Sehgal started, the naval ratings mutiny broke out. The armed forces which the British used to enforce their authority over India turned against them. On January the 4th, 1946, Dillon was released along with Shah Nawaz and Prem Sehgal after a long trial. Post his release, Gurbakhsh Singh Dillon spent his life at Shivpuri in Madhya Pradesh where he passed away peacefully on February the 6th, 2006. We salute the great nationalist. Bhet tumhari ye jeevan ho mar mitne ke liye magan ho. We also remember freedom fighter Kunji Lal Dube who was born on the 18th of March 1896 in the Narsingpur district of Madhya Pradesh. Kunji Lal was influenced by freedom fighters Madan Mohan Malviya and NC Kelkar when he was studying law in Allahabad University. Kunji Lal became a member of All India Congress Committee in 1937 and was the secretary of the reception committee during the 1939 Tripuri session of the Congress. 
In 1941, he was selected for the Satyagraha by Mahatma Gandhi, but was detained by the police and was sentenced to nearly one year of imprisonment. On his release in 1942, he participated in the Quit India movement and was jailed again. This time for a period of two years. In 1946, he was elected from Jabalpur in the assembly elections. <laughs> Post independence, Kunjilal Dube was actively involved in politics and was selected to be the first speaker of the Legislative Assembly of Madhya Pradesh. AIR News salutes the great nationalist. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Thank you.